President Reagan admitted that although some people in this country seem to be doing well nowadays, others were unhappy, even worried about themselves, their families, and their futures. The President said that he didn't understand that fear. He said, why, this country is a shining city on a hill. And the President is right. In many ways, we are a shining city on a hill. But the hard truth is that not everyone is sharing in this city's splendor and glory. A Tale of Two Cities, a Mario Cuomo keynote address, 1984 Democratic Convention. Joining us now is William O'Shaughnessy, president and editorial director of Whitney Media and author of a great new book, Mario Cuomo, Remembrances of a, a Remarkable Man. See, it was easy for you to write, hard for me to say. So, so glad nice to have to you up here. I've been such a, a big admirer of yours and the work that you've done over the years in, in broadcasting, and, and, and just a pleasure to have you here. You're a legend in our tribe. Well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I appreciate that. Maybe in your mind I'm a legend, yeah, or in my right. mind, but that's about it. So, your relationship, first of all, with Mario Cuomo, which led you to, to write this, uh, this work, you know, after, so soon after his passing, to talk about your relationship. Well, it was a friendship of 38 years. Uh, I, he was Secretary of State of New York State. Uh, uh, obscure, not that well known. He had once run for governor, as you will recall, Steve, of our uh, for mayor of New York uh, during the with Jimmy Breslin, another yeah. friend of yours, and. Uh, he, but he was Secretary of State, and I kept him waiting in the lobby of our radio station <laughs> up in Westchester. And uh, he never let me forget that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the, I, I, I'd never seen anybody like this. A friendship was born for, yeah. by you making him wait, though, right? He was so yeah. bright and so intelligent, I wanted to flee from the studio and get, get out of there. He was a great orator. Obviously, I mean that's just a little snippet of a speech that many people thought would propel him eventually to the presidency of the United States. Um, but he never, never did run. I mean, there's that famous uh, incident uh, on the tarmac when he was deciding whether or not the time was running out. Would he, you know, announce his candidacy, the deadline approaching to rerun again for governor? What would he do? And he didn't do it. Why did he never see, never go for the the, the big, the big? Uh, Game. Well, I've, I've been asked that question a thousand times over the years. Mario once said, uh, you, you have to look in the mirror and, and, and say, I am the best guy uh, or w woman uh, to run this country. And he said, I could never bring myself to do that. Uh, he, every other politician would throw their mother-in-law over the right, side right, to, yeah. to get it. Uh, uh, I, you know, in a way, I'm glad he never had to uh, undergo, withstand the rigors of a presidential campaign. Uh, it's almost cartoon-like now. You talk about uh, so many remarkable things in the book. I mean, Mario Cuomo, I remember him talking many, many times about his roots and his family and, and the barefoot and, the, and you know, and, and, and growing up from, from nothing. And yet, not only Mario Cuomo, but the mark of a man is his children as well, and although I disagree with almost everything Andrew Cuomo stands for, uh, uh, and of course uh, Chris on, on, on CNN drives me crazy, but nonetheless, look at, look at his kids too. Not only, not only him, they're part of his legacy. He has uh, a very accomplished. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Maria Cuomo, married to Kenneth Cole, the designer. Uh, the oldest uh, one, Margaret, is a book coming out next month on cancer, and, and she's a doctor. Um, the, uh, but Mario was, I've been accused, Steve, of uh, l viewing the Cuomos through rose-colored glasses, all of them. Uh, he was an extraordinary uh, man, and uh, in, the, in this book, Tony Bennett said, I have sung for five presidents. Mario Cuomo is the greatest man I ever met. And That's there's a yeah. wonderful quote. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem in this election if Joe Biden were running, incidentally. 
Uh, but there's a wonderful quote. Uh, I've been in politics in this country since I was a 29-year-old kid, dot, dot, dot. And the minute I saw Mario Cuomo, I knew he was better than I was. Joseph R. Biden Jr. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right. So, you know, Mario Cuomo, my, uh, I think the only time I ever spoke with him, uh, I don't know how I arranged this, but I did. I was doing the Yankees, New York Yankees, uh, and you have a wonderful uh, ring on your finger from the New York Yankees, um, in 1990, which was one of their worst years ever. I mean, they won 60-something ball games. And anyway, Mario Cuomo came on my pregame show, Yankee pregame show on WABC, I knew he had a baseball connection. You talk about the, you, your dedication to the book indicates that he was a, a minor leaguer in the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. I call him a failed baseball player <laughs> with too many vowels in his name. <laughs> uh, you know, as he lay uh, dying in his final days, I, I found somebody at our radio station found a, a baseball card for the Brunswick Pirates. And yeah. we framed it and sent it up to the hospital. The minor league uh, team that he played yeah. for, probably. There's yeah. a great story you will uh, appreciate. At Buffalo, the Buffalo Stadium, they had Mickey Mantle for the dedication of the new uh, minor league AAA stadium and Mario Cuomo, the governor of well, the day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this wise guy reporter, the Steve Malsberg you know, <laughs> of Buffalo, said, Governor, uh, you got 2,000, you got Twenty-five hundred dollars as a signing bonus, and Mickey Mantle only got two thousand. And Mickey Mantle jumped in and said, "I think that was the dumbest scout I <laughs> ever saw." Let, let me ask you a few more questions. Sir. What what got under his skin? What what bothered him? There, certainly, he incurred the wrath of many media. I mean, you know, there was Bob Grant who I had the pleasure and honor of working with, who attacked him regularly. I mean, and I know there was bad blood there for various reasons, but was he a thin-skinned man, or could he take the criticism and, and just let it slide off? Well, let, let me answer that. Bob Grant used to call me a stooge yes. for Mario Cuomo, yes. so I'm not sure I'm the best guy to answer that. But not specifically to Grant. Uh, I mean, in general. He was a very spiritual man. I think he was a guy, despite his politics, who was always looking toward the light. Uh, he, uh, a friend of his sent me a note just when this book came out, and it's, it'll, uh, Barnes & Noble already taking orders. Amazon says you can't get it for another month. Uh, but Joe Bellicosa was dean of law at uh, St. John's, and he said uh, Mario admired Teilhard de Chardin, the great Jesuit philosopher and paleontologist. Uh, who wrote The Divine Milieu, and uh, uh, he said, the, the whole thing, you don't need somebody to come down from the mountain with right. tablets. Right. The whole thing, uh, God created the universe but didn't complete it. That's your job. And uh, uh, Mario was greatly taken with, with uh, uh, stuff like that. He was, uh, I once said to him, you know, you should have been a cardinal. It was the first time I ever heard it with, at a loss for words. <laughs> and you didn't mean St. Louis Cardinal either. <laughs> no, he was over the moon in his final days yeah. about the Argentinian Jesuit, really? uh, the Pope. Oh, yeah. And, but, you know, he had a candidate himself, Timothy Cardinal Dolan. Dolan. I, would, I would imagine so, sure. And uh, I said, listen, why don't we run you for Pope? And this is in the book. Why don't we run you for Pope and Mariano Rivera for Vice Pope? <laughs> and and uh, Mario said to me, uh, he said, you know, if he could just show me how to hold that cutter. <laughs> great stories. The book, uh, folks, is full of these uh, great stories. Mario Cuomo, whether you agreed with him politically or disagreed with him politically, as, as I did, uh, nonetheless, he's an important figure, certainly not a figure to be taken lightly or ignored when we talk about political history. And you learn a lot from learning about people on both sides. So I, I would, I would uh, think he would do well uh, to pick up uh, Mario Cuomo. And let's put it up on the screen one more time. There it is, Mario Cuomo, Remembrances of a Remarkable Man. There, I even said it without messing it up. Thank you. It is such a pleasure to have you. It really I'm is. It's, and please come you. back. Please come back. Thank Best you. of luck with the book. All right, folks, stay tuned for much, much more of the Steve Molesberg Show coming up next.